and welcome to another episode of the Daily Roundup. I am Aditi and we are about to bring to you some of the latest and most important news that we report about here at NewsClick. More than 6,000 Adivasi workers have been sitting on an indefinite strike for the past eight days in Badwani, Madhya Pradesh against the non-payment of wages for work done under the MG Narega scheme since the last three months. The protest is being led under the banner of the Jagrit Adivasi Dalit Sangathan, JADS. The crisis of payments under the scheme is not just limited to Badwani, but spanning across the country. The wage rates for Narega workers for 2019-20, to notified yesterday, have again exposed the central government's lack of commitment for Narega workers' rights. The average increase in Narega wage rate across the country is measly 2.6%. At a time when the country is going through one of the worst employment crises in decades, this meagre hike in Narega wages is nothing less than a surgical strike on the poor. Unemployment is at a historical 45-year high. The poor are still recovering from demonetization that crippled the informal economy. It is ironic, while the government boasts about the spectacular economic growth in the last five years, rural wages have remained stagnant throughout. Barely a month ahead of the Lok Sabha polls in Kerala, K.P. Prakash Babu, BJP candidate from the Calicut constituency, has been remanded to judicial custody for 14 days in a case related to attacking a woman pilgrim who had entered the Sabrimala temple. Reportedly, K.P. Prakash Babu has been charged with eight criminal cases, including those under IPC sections 354, assault or criminal force to woman with intent to outrage her modesty and several such other cases. Previously, the BJP Yuva Mocha state president had led a mob and attacked a 52-year-old woman who had entered the temple. One of the justifications they offered for the attack was that the woman appeared younger than her actual age. On January 1, breaking the existing tradition, two women of menstruating age entered the shrine. Later, these women were threatened with rape, murder, their residence was attacked by the BJP activists in Kerala, for which they had to seek protection from the police. NewsClick will be tracking the elections 2019 closely with Seema Mustafa, the editor-in-chief, The Citizen, and Prabir Purkhayasta, the editor-in-chief, NewsClick, in our new series, Mapping Elections. Today we will discuss the possibilities of coalitions in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Have a look. There's a meanness to this yes. discourse yes. that there is no larger vision or the grace that we expect from a prime minister yes. and he's not just a minister yes. he's supposed to represent the nation yes. and in that seat even when he's contesting or he's in an electoral frame. To keep frame, a certain dignity you have to give a level of the discourse how can you take it to a level which you know some of those very sad MLAs and MPs do at times or their workers do actually. That is it for today. To know about these and many more such important stories, visit our website www.newsclick.in. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.